Hello guys, Tough HD here and welcome back to another video and finally the hard drives I ordered from Scan have arrived. That's the replacements that is. So I sent mine off on Sunday back to Scan and today is Thursday so they've tested my units, decided that they were indeed faulty, they said that they had faulty sectors. Whether that is the real reason or not I don't know, they probably just typed anything random but that doesn't bother me because I have two replacement Seagate Iron Wolf 4 terabyte drives in here. Well hopefully I do, hopefully they have sent the right one so today. Hopefully if they work we will be setting them up in my Terramaster D2310 RAID enclosure in RAID 1 and that will be where I will be storing all of my data from now on. But before I open this box I want to comment on the box, this is a different box to last time and last time they came in a Corsair box, so to me, I think that they are just using any random boxes that they had left, and they seem to be reusing boxes as well. The one from last time came with old tape on it as well, which had been resealed. This doesn't look like it has, yet yeah, this has been cut, so this is indeed old tape they've put their tape on, so it looks like they are reusing any old random boxes, which maybe isn't too good, and that's why mine got damaged in shipping. Hopefully these ones are protected a little better, but this box is indeed rocking. That's because they've crammed so much in here, it is actually bulging, which is a little bit of a concern. So yeah, the packaging is a little bit concerning that they do seem to just be using random boxes. But anyway, let's now cut this tape and see if they have sent the right things and also whether they work. I must say the returns process was actually quite easy, I've got no complaints with that. I sent them an email through the website, then within days I had a shipping label and I was ready to send them off. It's my fault for not sending them off sooner, that's why it took a little while for them to arrive. Alright, there we go, the box is now open and we've got some of those little airbag things. We've got two there, we've got loads more here as well and we've got the two hard drives just plonked at the edge of the box. If I was them I would have put them in the middle and surrounded them by the airbags because if something hard knocked on this side I suppose it could have damaged them. It looks like one of the airbags has actually popped so I'm assuming knowing how delivery companies are they've banged it at some point and then this has happened. Let's see if there's any impact marks on the box. Seems pretty fine, so hopefully the drives are fine, but now I've got the fun task of trying to get them out of this bubble wrap, although I may just be able to slide it out. There we go, I slid one of them out, and looking at it, it does say Seagate Iron Wolf and 4 terabytes. Let's hope the other one's the same, and also hope that they work, because if they don't, and they have to go back again, I'm not sure I can deal with that. I'll probably just ask for a refund and buy them elsewhere because this whole delivery thing doesn't seem to be working too well if these ones are broken too. There we go, there is the second drive. This time they do not seem to have condensation on them which is always a good thing. This time I'm not going to rip the anti-static bags because I have to tape it back together to send it off. I'm going to nicely cut it, try and make a bit of a nicer job of it if possible. I'd say that's a little bit nicer, so I will also do it to the other one. There we go, I can now get to both of the drives. Drive 1 is here, looks fine so far. And then drive 2 is here as well, and actually they are a bit cold, but that should be fine. Before I put them in the RAID enclosure, which you can actually see, just there at the edge of frame, I will test them just like the other ones connected to my computer just to make sure they are working. Okay, so my computer is now on and let's now turn on the drive dock. Let's see if I can reach round around the tripod. Yes, button click. Okay, I can hear them, but they don't seem to be making too much of a terrible noise. So let's go into disk management to see if we can format them. 
then we'll see if we can put files on them. Okay, sorry about the angle, but as soon as I open disk management, you must initialize disk 7 and 8. I assume they are the right ones. So let's see. I'll make this bigger and then zoom out. Apologies that you probably cannot see anything, but down here, disk 7 and disk 8 are showing up online as unallocated. Let's add a simple volume to each of these. We'll just give them the standard name. And now let's do the second one. That should do. Finish. Now it is formatting and that should be it. So now let's open up this PC. There we go, two new volumes, both 3.63 terabytes, which is basically four terabytes. You never get the amount that is advertised, but that's just the way it is. Ah, Crystal Disk Info is showing something interesting. These are the two drives. It's showing up as F and F. Both of those have a good health status and are 15 degrees. This confirms they are both new drives, one count for power on count. But then there's also a G, which is bad 0% unknown. I'm assuming that's just the interface in the hard drive dock. Although this did not show up last time I used this dock with two drives in it. So I'm not too sure about that. And the power on count is 6579200, but the power on hours is zero. So I think it's getting a little bit confused. But the two drives are showing up here just fine. So... I think that's all we can really check. Let's plug them into the RAID enclosure and see if we can initialize them in RAID 1. Okay, here we are. Here is the TerraMaster unit and on the back there is a dial where you select the RAID mode. I have turned it with a little screwdriver so the arrow is pointing to RAID 1. Now what I think we need to do is put the drives in, then use a pin to press the reset button and then it should start to initialize so I will have to take out the drive bays. They are labeled so I know which one goes where. Just take them both out. Now I need to go find the mounting hardware which I believe is in the box. All right so I've grabbed the bag with the screws and I hope there's enough. There appears to be enough in here so let's now screw in these drives. Okay so I have slid the drive into the first bay and now I've got to put the four screws in here, here, here and here. So now I'll just do that. I'll probably speed this up because it's not the most exciting thing to watch through. Alright, that is the first drive done. It's secure enough in there. I don't think I could screw it in anymore if I tried. So now I'll put that one off to the side. And now let's do the second one. And there we go, that is the second Iron Wolf drive fully secured. So now all we've got to do is put them inside the unit, turn the unit on, press reset and see what happens. Okay, here is the unit. The power is unplugged just so nothing gets fried. Here is the first drive which can go into bay one. Oh. That is now in, it should have made contact with the PCB at the back. Here is the second drive. There we go, that one went in quite a lot easier. And now that unit is very heavy. Two hard drives in there quite nicely. So now I'll plug in the power. The cable is just off to the side here. See if I can actually reach. There we go, the power is now connected. I'll go get a pin and then I can stab the back. The only sharp thing which is small enough to fit is the SIM ejection tool on my key. So now, first off, I'll turn the computer on which this unit is connected to. I'll let that boot up first, just so then we can see 
if anything pops up in Windows. Okay, so I've opened up this PC on, well, this PC, so then we can see if anything shows up. I will now turn the unit on. We can hear the drive spinning up, the lights are there. I'm going to press the reset button on the back. I have now pressed the button, the lights on the front have gone green. They were amber, they are flashing, so I assume it's doing something. And it looks like they have both shown up as separate volumes in Windows. Let's take a quick look. There you can see both the volumes have shown up separately, so it doesn't look like it has got the mode right. That is not too much of a problem. I'll come back once I have solved that. Okay, so I pressed the reset button again. The hard drives are making noises and the two volumes have gone. So I assume it is doing something. I'm not exactly sure what because the hard drive lights aren't flashing. But I guess I'll wait a minute or two and see if anything does happen. Okay, so where you can eject drive, it's showing up that I can eject master DAS but still no drives are showing up so I think I'm going to have a quick look in the manual and see if that says anything. Okay so I open disk management and it's showing up to initialize disk 4. Now it's only showing one disk maybe that's because the raid has worked but I'm going to click OK. Let's make that bigger and it looks like we have disk 4, 4 terabytes unallocated, so I'm assuming the RAID has worked and that is now the capacity because of course we can only use one drive, the other is completely for redundancy, so I think that has now worked. Hmm, so I've tried this twice now and both times it has said the format did not complete successfully. So I click enter and the drive doesn't show up correctly, it's got no capacity, I can't do anything with it. Let's try turning it off. Last time when I did this, when I turned it back on, it showed up just fine, but I didn't really trust it, so I reformatted it again, and then it failed. So now let's see what happens, and it would help if this camera was actually focused. Maybe it will find it a bit better now. Okay, so I spent the rest of yesterday, which is when the video was filmed, trying to get RAID 1 to work and to no avail, as I've already mentioned. But today is the next day and I tried just one more time to see if I could get it to work and magically it worked straight away. So I'm not too sure what exactly has happened between yesterday and today for it to suddenly work, but it is now working and I've got one volume in this PC. I've named it Nebula. As you can see it's showing up as 3.63 terabytes which is equivalent to one of the two drives. The unit's got two green lights on it showing that both the drives are fine and when I do put files on it they do both flash showing that the data is being written to both of them. I have tested it with some test files but I'm not going to 100% trust this thing yet. I'll copy all my files over but I won't delete them from their previous location just yet just to make sure. So I think that that is pretty much it. It somehow started to work and I'm not going to complain although it is a bit concerning how it wasn't working yesterday but it is now but I don't really think I need to worry about that for now because it seems to be working just fine so as long as nothing else goes wrong between me finishing filming this and me editing i think this will be the end now so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one goodbye